Good morning, everyone. Well, it's looking like a stormy Wednesday in the St. Louis area, and unfortunately, there's a good chance for damaging wind, hail, and yes, the possibility of a few tornadoes. So let's get you to the latest timing. Uh, we're starting at 10 a.m. I do think the early morning hours completely dry, but beginning around 10 a.m., the first few showers and storms could start to push in uh, to the west of town, places like Troy, Warrington, and Union. And then I think as we go through the lunchtime hours, we're going to see more and more showers and storms popping up. And by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, just about covered in shower and thunderstorm activity. And already, uh, beginning in the late morning, as these storms are rolling in, already the possibility of damaging wind, hail, and yes, possibly some tornadoes. Because this is a, a complicated setup where we have a warm front that's going to trigger showers and storms in the late morning and early afternoon. But right behind this warm front that's lifting over us is going to be a cold front. So we're talking about an extended time with a good chance of rain. Look at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The warm front is clearing us, but you see that new line of showers and storms around Jerseyville and St. Charles? That's the cold front pushing in. Notice the difference in temperatures, too, to the south and east of St. Louis, upper 70s. But look at the low 70s showing up to the north and west. That's the cold front pushing in. And so not only is the chance for showers and storms going to continue, but the chance for damaging wind, hail, and yes... Tornadoes is going to be there as well late afternoon and yes into the early evening hours We need this cold front to clear us and at 7 o'clock It probably will be clear downtown st. Louis, but I certainly want to leave in the chance for damaging wind and hail uh, to the south and east of town By 9 o'clock though the cold front will have completely cleared the area so the chance of severe storms going away I still think there's gonna be about a three-hour window from about 9 o'clock in the evening to midnight where there could be some isolated showers, maybe one or two weak storms. But by midnight, the cold front far enough away from us, the chance of rain completely coming to an end, at least until Thursday afternoon when we do have a chance for some isolated showers, but no severe storms to worry about. Uh, so to summarize, I do want to keep in a window from 10 a.m. this morning until 9 o'clock this evening. So from the late morning through the early evening, a chance for severe storms, but really highlighting the afternoon hours as very stormy. Lots of heavy rain and lightning and a good chance. Today we have to say it's a good chance for severe storms. I think we're going to see quite a few reports of penny, quarter size hail, wind gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour. And I do think it's a real possibility that a few spots could see up to golf ball size hail in the St. Louis area. And a few spots could see wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. So that's why I've got to go with a high chance of damaging wind and hail. And a medium chance of tornadoes. I, I hate to say it, but there is a real possibility that we could see two or three tornadoes spin up. And could one of those be what's considered a strong tornado? an EF2 or EF3 tornado capable of winds up to 150 miles per hour. I really hope not, but that is a possibility today. We have to be on guard for a stronger tornado to spin up in the St. Louis area, particularly during the afternoon hours. Now, what I'm least concerned about is flooding. I'll say low the threat for flooding, but it's there. Now, most in the area are probably gonna end up only seeing about an inch of rain. But there will be a few spots that could see three rounds of heavy rain and end up seeing three inches of rain. If that three inches of rain falls in a low line of poorly drained location, we could have seen a few flooded roads, uh, but it would not be widespread. The bottom line for today, monitor the weather closely. Try to avoid unnecessary travel during the afternoon hours and be prepared to take shelter indoors should a severe thunderstorm or tornado warning be issued.